Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today is time for us to prep the soil so we can go ahead and start transplanting tomatoes. So today I'm gonna go ahead and pull, put the um, amend the soil or what we need, pull the drip tape, put the plastic, and then hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and start transplanting. So let's go get some compost. Alrighty, so the uh, compost is down. It's just uh, turkey manure compost. And you know, we use turkey manure because it has a lot of high, it's a high nitrogen. I think it has about 74, 75% nitrogen. And then we're gonna go ahead and supply the phosphorus and the potassium through the fertilizer injector. So now I'm gonna jump in the small tractor with a tiller, start tilling it up, make sure it's nice and fluffy, pull the drip tape, and then the the fabric, the landscaping fabric, couldn't think there for a second. But my dad wants me to go ahead and clean up all these weeds around the, the wood stove there. Move those outside. So I'm going to jump in the tractor now and see how fast I could go ahead and till this whole place. Alrighty, so now I am pulling the drip tape and all I'm doing is so as you can see here that black line there every row gets a drip yeah. tape and then we'll come back with the header hose and header line whenever we do that so I'm gonna continue to do this we got six more rows and then we'll get done Alrighty, so the uh, drip tape is pulled now, and these are the, where, where the rows are going, and now we have this 12-foot landscaping fabric, and it's 300 foot long, so we're gonna go ahead and put it all over the top here. Last year we did the vegetable plastic, but I didn't really like that because the wind would blow it and it'll flop everywhere, but this thing is 12 foot long, so it's gonna go ahead and do, it's gonna go ahead and do, let's see here, 12, four, eight, so about two, three rows and a half, and then we're gonna put one down the center and then one on that side. So it's gonna go ahead and cover everything nicely. And I'll see how this one with this way works this year. But now I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch and come back and go ahead and pull this tightly, turn on the irrigation tonight. And then first thing in the morning after I get back home from school, I'm gonna go ahead and start transplanting. It should go pretty quick. I know last year took me a lot longer because I was dealing with the plastic and I had to set up the irrigation in the morning and it was just a big headache. But if I get this all ready to go tonight, then tomorrow morning, jump in here and start transplanting. All right, so I went ahead and laid out this first roll here. And this is just the third of the whole roll. This tunnel is 96 foot long. Now I'm gonna get the stapler and staple it against the wall there, all the way down to the whole thing. Pull it tight, do the same thing on this side, and then and unroll one down the center, and then we'll be good to go, so. Alrighty, so I was just doing, uh, putting up the side here and just testing it out. And we, last year we used a staple gun and stapled the plastic to it, but since this is a 10 year landscaping fabric, I wanna reuse this next year. And I stapled some and I tried pulling it out and it wouldn't come out. So now I just got just a piece of, um, just wood or just little shims that we use. They're just pine shims that we used to burn and start the saw the, to, to start the stoves with. So I just got these and got a three inch screw and uh, put them through there. And as you can see here, it is holding nicely, nice and tight. And then it's gonna stop the weeds from growing there. And it holds this nice and tight to the, nice and tight to the baseboard there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side.
Alrighty, so this is how it works. Just the uh, fabric, put that, and then this solid. It's not going anywhere. Alrighty, so it is currently about 7.30. We just got done with everything. In the morning, I gotta come put the header line for the irrigation, and then I am gonna go ahead and start transplanting with Adrian. He's home from school all day tomorrow. We're gonna get it done. So the, we got the wood still working tonight. See how it works, testing it out, and uh, making sure where it's working properly, so that tomorrow, whenever it comes around, just start working and keep going, 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 going until it's done. Alrighty, so it is currently the next day. I got back from class, and now we're gonna go ahead and set up the drip irrigation. Get that going i'm gonna go ahead and start transplanting here so as you guys can see here solid black on the ground hopefully we have no weeds weeds growing anymore and we shouldn't all the sides are done stapled nicely and now we're gonna go ahead and turn the irrigation let that run for a little bit and then start planting Alrighty, so this is the exact same header line we used last year it has a filter the pressure gauge and the exact same they should be the exact same um places where the the end 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 lines here so i'm gonna go ahead and unroll this and start connecting each and individual tape to the header line to the valves then go on the other side and close them up all right so what i'm doing here i am just getting this uh drip tape there measuring it out cutting with my knife and then make an opening right there like that making sure it's opened up nicely then get the valve that comes with the kit we buy these from morgan county c but you can buy from any irrigation supplier just kind of shove that in there nicely just like that just twist that like there and that's it and the nice thing about this is i already have the pre-measured and it's not 100 percent i mean there's some are a little quicker than more quicker than others but hey as long as you get water to the tomato plants that's all that matters Alrighty, so i'm going to go ahead and start planting here isaac is burning the holes every 22 inches So righty, Isaac here was using, this is a 20, 22 or 24 inch piece of stick, I'm not exactly sure. And then we just got an old tin can, cut it, and then he would burn it around there. And you guys can see here what he did. It burns it nicely so that, you know, there's no, nothing will come off a rip. If you would cut this, then you have some pieces hanging out. But this is all burnt, so now it won't rip anymore. And it's already pre-measured, so now we're going to go ahead and continue planting. So... It's uh, he just got done with that last row there, and slowly and surely, another few hours, we'll have all of these planted.
Alrighty, so I'm planting a tomato. We just want to make sure to take it out of the container nicely. And I just give it a good squeeze around the edge and it should come out. And one trick that I did learn from the water wheel transplanter on the field is you want to go ahead and turn your irrigation for a couple of hours. Make sure the dirt is nice and soft. So whenever you press inside the hole, it goes in softly. You just get the plant, shove it in nicely in there, and then come back to the edges and put it like that. And Isaac here got all the holes pre-made. So now I'm on my knees, he's driving the cart. Super fast like this, dig a small hole, it's nice and moist. Just like that. tomatoes to my knees I mean it's just not too bad but yeah see this one root system wasn't built too big I mean these are the smaller plants we have we're gonna go ahead and plant them so not too bad but this is this one right here is our 300th oh snap I'm bringing my own mayor plants here <laughs> so I don't know it's like 315 16 85 I'm not exactly sure you gotta recount them, but anyways, last tomato plant right here. Shove it in. Yes, sir. Push the soil around. There you go. Nice, nice, nice hands. And tomatoes are done. <sighs> Alrighty, y'all. So just like that, the tomato plants are planted. And I do not have a final count on these because every row is shorter. And then when we get to the the wood, the wood stove here. We screwed them back a little more and then Isaac made a little too many holes inside the fabric here, but it's all right. We'll just put the T-post in there whenever we come through and stake them. But we have 300 plus tomato plants in here. Not too bad. Hopefully we have a better year than we did last year. And my goal is to pick over 15,000 pounds out of here, but we'll, we will see how the year turns out. And now it's going to get cold outside. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the wood stove. So this is the wood stove right here. And this whole contraption right here is to heat up the, the soil, the ground soil. And we got pipes going anything around. But I'm going to make a complete video on how this works and how we made this. And all that good stuff. So, so guys, stay tuned for that video. But Isaac just bringing the load full of... This is a truckload full of these blocks. Oak blocks and whatnot. And once the fire gets going and burning nicely, we, throw the, we fill up the, uh, the stove there full of this stuff. And it burns nicely all night and the only downfall of planting the tomatoes this early is that i gotta wake up for for the next month and a half i gotta wake up early i gotta wake up three to four times a night and come out here and fill it up but you know what at the end of the day it's worth it so we got the nice smoke stack out there blowing the smoke out of the thing so it's going to slowly start burning so all it takes a little bit of cardboard and some dry wood and it's burning nicely so i'm just going to go ahead and throw some of these thicker stuff on top here Make sure you're making sure it starts and keep it going. Now that's a fire if I say so myself. So it is burning nicely and so far so good. Flame is going to want to come out here now. Time to close her up. You can probably barely see me. The sun's gone down. But this is going to be pretty much it for today. We planted all the tomatoes in our first high tunnel here. And now we just got to let them grow. And just give them plenty of heat, plenty of water, plenty of fertilizer. And they will be ready to go. So I'm hoping by the first week I'm made to pick our first crop of tomatoes out of here. So this is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Go smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. 
Don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.